please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag, the United, United States, States of America, America, and to the, the Republic, Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, <laughs> indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Harrison Central. Today is Friday the 31st. I am Mrs. Brooks with your news, and Emily is here with me today. We have just a few announcements. Attention CCP students. Your intent to participate and mature content permission slips must be turned in today if you plan to enroll in CCP classes next year. They're actually due Saturday, but I don't know if any of you are gonna come in on Saturday. Also, if you have enrolled in any branch of the military, please stop by and see Mr. Richards. Last, we have a special announcement from Mr. Parker. As if any of us would forget, Easter break begins Monday, April 3rd through Monday, April 10th. There will be no school on these days. Classes resume on Tuesday, April 11th. So he would like everyone to have a happy Easter break. Now, Emily, what is for lunch today? Today, the cafeteria is serving chicken nuggets, dinner rolls, cater tops, assorted fresh vegetables, and cream. Good morning and welcome to Friday, March 31st. Wow, March has really flown by. We're here with Wyatt today for the weather forecast. Wyatt, we see some severe weather start to move into the area. We see rainfall here in the early morning starting to hit parts of the Ohio Valley. We see uh, tornado warnings for today over Iowa. Some severe weather out in the Midwest and a very bad tornado striking Mississippi just last night. We'll see rain today and tomorrow. High temperature today of about 56, low in the upper 30s. A little bit warmer tomorrow, but more weather and more rainfall coming as well. Wyatt, your thoughts? Yeah, like you said, Drake, it gets pretty, uh, you know, pretty windy out there in the Midwest. I, I did hear that Mississippi may have gotten struck, and, uh, struck by a uh, tornado. Although, uh, I believe over spring break, we're going to get a lot of rain, so make sure you pack an umbrella. It might cool down a little bit tonight with lots of rain, so just uh, make sure you're prepared. Yeah, and watch out for high wind gusts as well. Well, that's it for Wyatt and I for the week. Have a great weekend, have a great break, and happy Easter. Bella? Yesterday, Varsity Baseball beat East Liverpool 13-1. to They play... East Liverpool again on Monday at home. Today, JV Baseball will be playing against Toronto. Also today, the, the girls varsity softball will be playing against East Liverpool. Saturday, the girls have a doubleheader at home against Carrollton and New Philly. Then they will turn around and go to East Liverpool on Monday. Monday, junior high track will be away at Edison. I would like to wish good luck to the varsity track teams. They will be traveling to North Carolina next week to participate at a meet in Manteo. Safe travels to all track members. Now let's send it to Nadia with district news. I'm Nadia with District News. As spring break approaches, lots of classes on the elementary side are celebrating with parties and Easter egg hunts. Now let's go see some of those. I'm here with Tori and Anna from fourth grade, and they're going to tell us a little bit about their chicks. So um, we had people come in for a 4-H group, and we learned that how the hatchlings and the embryo in about the life cycle and then we got papers and we hatched chicks. Okay, and Tori, can you tell us a little bit about taking them around to other classrooms? Yeah, we went through the preschool and the elementary side and showed them like, so we had some groups and they did a slideshows and videos for them. And we had some coloring sheets and, and we're gonna show them the chicks. All right, thank you. And we hope everyone has a great spring break and enjoy your week off. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. Y'all better have a great break. Now, now go out there and have a good Easter. That is it for the news. Goodbye. Yeah.